Once upon a time in the land of Queen's Collegeville, there lived the handsome King John and the beautiful Queen Isabella. King John loved his wife dearly. They had a daughter whom they called Snow White. She was as beautiful and kind-hearted as her mother, and they were a happy family. Queen Isabella loved to take her daughter into the forest to read books with her. They had a very close relationship. But one day, the queen grew very ill. None of the royal doctors could figure out what was wrong. King John did his best to take care of his wife while she was ill, but her illness grew worse and worse. After months of pain and suffering, the queen finally took her last breath and died. The whole kingdom was saddened by Queen Isabella's death because she was a good queen. King John was the most sad of all. Not only did he feel very lonely, but he knew that as Snow White grew older, she would need a mother to teach her all the things a young princess should know. For this reason, King John decided to marry again. Queen Beyonce was not as kind-hearted as Queen Isabella, and King John did not love her as much as he loved his first wife. But Snow White needed a mother, so she would have to do. Now Queen Beyonce was very vain and loved to look into her magic mirror and ask, mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all and the mirror would usually say you my queen but one day while she was sitting on her throne she was thinking about how beautiful Snow White was and became jealous so she decided to ask the mirror again when the mirror said Snow White the queen was furious and began to devise a plan Queen Beyonce called Snow White and suggested that she go for a walk in the forest because she knew that this was one of her hobbies. But as soon as Snow White got settled in the forest with a good book, the evil Queen Beyonce sent one of her hunters into the forest to capture and kill Snow White. The hunter saw Snow White in the forest and intended to kill her, but realized how beautiful and pleasant she was and felt too guilty to kill her. So instead, he told her about the queen's plan and warned her to run away and never return to the castle. Snow White ran and ran and ran. Deep in the forest, there was a cottage that belonged to a group of dwarfs. There was Shiny, who loved to dance. Royal, who loved to boss the others around. Sleepy, who slept everywhere at any chance she got. Grumpy, who was never really in a good mood. Rosie, who loved roses. And sporty who loved to do gymnastics. After running for miles and miles, the terrified Princess Snow White came upon their cottage while they were out one day. She was so tired and famished 
that she simply walked right up to the house and went inside. She began looking around, and when she got to the kitchen, she helped herself to some water. Whoever lives here won't mind if I just have a sip, she thought to herself. Then she tried to find a place to rest. She tested out the sofa chairs and they were a bit too firm. She explored a little more and came upon a bedroom with small beds lined across the wall. She was so exhausted from her journey that she flopped down on one of the beds and fell asleep. She did not know that the dwarfs were on their way home. When they arrived, they found Snow White asleep on one of their beds. They were so shocked to see a stranger in their house. After Snow White introduced herself and they realized what a wonderful person she was, they welcomed her to stay. Snow White was safe now. Meanwhile, back at the palace, Queen Beyonce was pleased that Snow White was gone. So she asked the mirror once more. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? When the mirror replied, Snow White, she was infuriated because she knew that the hunter did not do what she asked him to do. She asked the mirror to show her where Snow White was and began devising another plan to kill her. One day, while the dwarfs were out at work, Snow White was doing her chores, and she heard a knock on the door. I wonder who that is, Snow White said to herself. She opened the door to find an old witch who was selling apples. Snow White did not realize that the witch was actually her evil stepmother. And since she loved apples, she took one and bit into it without even thinking. Immediately, Snow White fell to the ground, dead. As expected, the evil queen was thrilled about this. Somewhere deep in the forest, there was a handsome prince who was Snow White's best friend when she was just a child. He had heard of all she had been through and knew that he needed to come and be there for her. The dwarfs were extremely sad about Snow White's death. Prince Chad found them crying over her as she slept peacefully. As he 
got closer, he knelt down to hug his friend Snow White. But the prince accidentally bumped into her, causing the apple to fly out of her mouth, which made her come back to life. The dwarfs were overjoyed that their friend was alive again. They celebrated and hugged her tightly. Prince Chad hugged Snow White too. He was happy that they could now be friends again. What they all learned was that true friendship and love for one another conquers any bad thing, even death. And they lived happily ever after. The end.